Good morning. My name is Josh Silverman. I'm the project manager and technical lead for ACASX at the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Lab. I will be joined by Wes Olson, who is the MIT Lincoln Laboratory lead for ACASX development. Wes is going to provide the second portion of this presentation. In 2019, approximately 4.5 billion passengers traveled by air, and at any given moment, 1 million people are airborne around the world. Our busiest airports handle 300 or less operations per hour, while over the next 15 years, projections show that increasing to over 65,000, 200 times the present day. New surveillance technologies such as ADS-B are enabling reduced separation operations to be performed in new segments of the airspace by novel platforms. Furthermore, we are seeing an increasingly dense airspace forming with many interacting, but not necessarily coordinating systems. To maintain the level of safety we've come to enjoy, novel technologies are necessary. The Traffic Alert and Collision Avoidance System, or TCAS, has been keeping the flying public safe for over 30 years. TCAS was developed as a result of several high-profile collisions and was congressionally mandated in the mid-1990s. TCAS has been and continues to be a remarkable global safety system, acting in concert with strategic and tactical separation mechanisms. However, TCAS's heuristic approach to solving the collision avoidance problem lacks the flexibility required to handle the challenges of a rapidly evolving airspace. The ACASX program goal was to create a system for total airspace protection involving an architecture that anticipates the complexities of future airspaces. We needed a way to achieve unprecedented flexibility and scalability to accommodate future platforms, operations, and surveillance systems. Over 10 years ago, the FAA's TCAS program office underwent research to reformat the collision avoidance question into what's known as a Markov decision process. This is an established method to help solve sequential decision-making problems. The problem is set up based on three principles. The first is that we don't know precisely the location and speed of intruder aircraft. The second is that the pilot's adherence to our recommended action may not be as anticipated. Lastly, the system is trying to satisfy a number of different simultaneous objectives. It's easy to make a very safe system that alerts at an unacceptable rate, or a very efficient system that is ultimately unsafe. That balancing act is the challenging part, and it happens to be a problem that modern computing systems excel at solving. ACAS-X constructs a policy to balance these simultaneous objectives, and that policy is encoded as a lookup table that is loaded onto the aircraft. What results is an onboard system with a form factor and interface similar to TCAS, but with a next generation decision making policy operating underneath the hood. Each second, sensor measurements formed from a number of external sensing systems are converted into sets of weighted samples. Those samples index into the lookup table and are aggregated together to form an action for the pilot. To construct that policy table, one must first decide what the state space looks like. Next, you must decide what actions are available from each state and how you transition from state to state. The last piece is where your costs and rewards are throughout the system. In the example shown here, the most costly state is a mid-air collision, indicated in red. This is the state the system is most trying to avoid. States above and below have additional separation and are more rewarding to enter. Each second, ACAS must decide what action to advise, such as climbing or descending, to transition to the next state. Note the multiple arrows emanating from each state. Even though the system is providing a single action, we don't know what our pilot will actually do, and that uncertainty is accounted for. Constructing the problem in this fashion enables well-known ways to efficiently solve for the final policy. This is convenient because even in the modest way in which ACAS-X has decomposed the state space, there are still more trajectories through the space than there are particles in the universe. The process just described is central to any aircraft equipped with an ACAS system, yet each system has different safety and operational requirements. Look at this emerging airspace from the perspective of ACAS-X. Each variant supports a different set of operational objectives. Together, they will increase safety while promoting operational efficiency for existing and new user classes. The red and yellow linkages indicate different types of protection provided in each scenario. The ACAS-X program has done a tremendous amount of work to ensure global interoperability as new versions come online. We begin with ACAS-XA and XO. XA uses active surveillance and passive ADS-B surveillance to provide collision avoidance against transponder aircraft in the vertical dimension. XA is a forward fit replacement for TCAS with benefits including improved safety, reduction of overall alerting, decision logic that can be tuned for aircraft performance capabilities, 
and the ability to accept and process new surveillance sources. ACAS-XO facilitates specific air traffic control procedures, such as closely spaced parallel operations, where the decision logic may need to behave differently with respect to a designated target than it does with respect to other targets. ACAS-XU is designed for platforms with a wide range of surveillance technologies and performance characteristics such as unmanned aircraft systems. XU is an extension of the XAXO system with some key differences. First, whereas XA provides only collision avoidance protection, XU is a complete detect and avoid solution that provides both remain well clear and collision avoid functionality. Remain well clear allows for adjustments to the current flight path before the situation develops into a collision hazard. XU makes use of alerting and guidance in the horizontal plane as well as the vertical plane, and it is able to use non-cooperative surveillance inputs such as air-to-air -air primary radar. A major impact of the XU standard is that it will provide an alternative means of compliance to the present see and avoid requirement, which makes XU a key enabler of UAS operations. XU lays the foundation for future UAS and autonomous operations such as advanced air mobility. ACAS XU for smaller UAS, known as ACAS SXU, extends the ACAS XU system. It provides a capability for smaller UAS operating beyond visual line of sight who have constrained size, weight, and power surveillance and computing requirements, as well as unique performance requirements due to their operations. SXU allows for the decision logic to reside either onboard the platform, as in XA and XU, or in a remote location. SXU is fully compatible with the unmanned traffic management ecosystem and may be provided as a UTM service or supplemental data service stream. In addition, with SXU needing to operate at much lower altitudes, its decision-making system has been integrated with a terrain and obstacle interface. SXU will enable safety cases for more routine beyond visual line-of-sight operations, which is critical for the success of important low-altitude mission sets such as medical delivery, precision agriculture, fire and rescue, and critical infrastructure inspection. The need for these operations has become even more apparent due to the recent pandemic. Finally, ACAS-XR will support rotorcraft and advanced air mobility operations. Building off the combined work of the prior systems, XR will address additional interoperability, coordination, and surveillance challenges that the common ACAS-X architecture is well suited to solve. XR will introduce speed change commands and continue to be well integrated into the evolving UTM ecosystem, truly enabling the vision of dense urban transport. As a whole, the ACAS-X family of systems will have a tremendous impact as it begins moving into the airspace over the next several years. Not only near term with the replacement of TCAS, but well into the future as more autonomous systems enter the airspace. ACAS-X is the foundational layer enabling a wide variety of platforms to safely interoperate. A robust detect and avoid system like ACAS-X will be at the heart of maintaining the necessary level of safety in the envisioned future airspace. At this point, I will hand the remainder of the presentation off to my colleague, Wes Olson, to discuss the development process and additional ACAS-X system benefits. All four variants of ACAS-X were developed using a modeling and simulation-based design process. Using the optimization process described earlier by Josh, candidate logic versions are developed and their performance is assessed across a large number of encounters generated by the use of encounter models, operational models, real-world data, and stressing encounter sets. The goal of this process is to expose the system to the wide variety of conditions anticipated across the life of the system and to ensure that the resulting behavior is safe and operationally suitable. This process allows developers to focus their time on identifying and mitigating undesired system behavior by adapting the cost function terms. This development cycle produces a new set of logic on a yearly basis and the resulting system performance is vetted through the national and international standards bodies. In addition to this approach, ACAS-X has also led to development of many novel methods for system verification and validation, including formal methods approaches with broad applicability across other complex and automated systems. Over the last 10 years, the development team has simulated over 600 billion aircraft encounters and conducted eight flight test campaigns. The following example is from our 2014 initial ACAS-XU flight test for larger unmanned aircraft. This flight test was conducted using NASA's Econa vehicle at the Edwards Air Force Base test range. 
Makana flew scripted encounters against a wide range of intruders, including other UAS, and TCAS-equipped, transponder-equipped, and non-transponding aircraft. These aircraft were flown over 100 scripted encounters to evaluate logic behavior in a wide variety of relevant geometries. This flight test resulted in a number of significant accomplishments, and this animation focuses on the first automated collision avoidance maneuver between two large UAS. The animation shows the relative location of both aircraft. The trackball video is located in the bottom left and the traffic display just to the right. Both aircraft are initially level with 300 foot vertical separation and ACAS-XU uses the ADS-B broadcast to estimate risk. And when a collision avoidance maneuver is needed, the blue aircraft is instructed to descend. To ensure flight test safety, the top aircraft did not respond to its advisory. When safe separation is achieved, ACAS-XU issues clear of conflict, thus allowing the UAS to continue on its mission. Each variant of ACAS-X has demonstrated significant safety, efficiency, and performance benefits. Compared to TCAS, ACAS-XA improves safety by 20% while reducing nuisance alerts by 65%. Additionally, ACAS-XA has reduced system development time by 50% and significantly reduce use of the 1030-1090 MHz spectrum used by air traffic systems. For UAS and advanced air mobility, the impact of ACAS-X cannot be overstated. Since these vehicles do not have an onboard pilot, they are required by U.S. and international law to have a means to detect and avoid other air traffic. ACAS-X is the first and currently only certifiable capability to meet this requirement. These vehicles span a wide range of capabilities with large variations in the ability to carry onboard equipment. ACAS-X provides flexible and scalable alerting to achieve required safety and operational suitability targets for each class of vehicle, and is interoperable with the UTM traffic management system. Taken together, the flexible and scalable ACAS-X architecture has an extraordinary worldwide safety and economic benefit. ACAS-X will provide immediate and significant safety benefit in today's airspace. It dramatically improves safety for the approximately 4 billion passengers per year worldwide. It provides a certified detect and avoid capability for existing UAS to enable integrated operations. It preserves spectrum reserved for air traffic surveillance and provides a suite of tools and techniques which support the need to verify, validate, and certify complex automated systems. In the future airspace, ACAS-X will enable safe and efficient integration of new airspace procedures and vehicles. The bottom line is that ACAS-X incorporates a host of advanced design methods, including artificial intelligence and machine learning to produce a scalable, flexible collision avoidance system for all current and future vehicles. This achievement directly improves safety, efficiency, and performance for billions of people worldwide and is a key enabler for the potential trillion dollar business opportunity associated with small UAS and advanced air mobility. I would like to thank all of our team members from government, academia, manufacturers, operators, and pilot organizations.